always in the mood to run. Whoa, look out. Hey guys, Dusty Baker, Customers Bison. Welcome back to our Bison channel. Thank you guys for watching us. We are out of hay at Mom and Kevin's home of the Dunbar. I just put out the last bell of hay, so we've got to get some hay hauled over there. I'm going to borrow Richard's hay hauler today, and uh, we're going to go check the Big Joe herd, give them some cubes, check the yearlings, we're going to see how the Big Joe herd is doing on their new acreage that they're on, and see how much they've grazed down on that newly restored pond dam. So uh, we're gonna do that and I'm gonna show you something new, what's going on here at the Ponderosa, new inside the barn. Hope you guys are ready for another bison video today. Betty, what are you doing, Betty? Hey, Betty. <laughs> what are you looking for, Betty? Come on, I'll get you some feed, Betty. Silky, ladies. Jackie has joined the party here at the Ponderosa. Jackie has been just been kind of grooming her a little bit over at my mom and Kevin's, but uh, trying to get her ready for the Ponderosa a little bit to come hang out with Thor. And now Thor has got a buddy, and she's a little she's a little female. She's uh, Pyrenees and Anatolian. Got eight on the first bunch. Ready to gonna go see Dunbar. Stacks up so nice.
for? What's up, Hoss? Hey, big boy. You and your jacked up horn. We're all here. You guys ready for some cubes? It'd be a lot easier if I had a cake feeder, actually. Let's go out in the pasture a little bit. Right. One we raised was born at the mom and Kevin's. All right, there's more cubes out there for y'all. All right, we gotta go check on Big Joe. Stay brown. Well, we got some more water in the pond, which is exciting. It's actually slightly frozen in some little places. Some of you people in the north are probably saying, our lakes and ponds and rivers have probably been frozen for two months. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Still got some green left. You can tell they've been nibbling on it. <laughs> it was, oh, maybe, I don't know, three or four inches tall, but... You can see they've been grazing on it pretty heavily, so that's good. That's what we wanted. And uh, they'll graze it down where it's not too short. You know, cows will graze it down to here. Uh, bison will typically leave it here if you keep them rotated and stuff where they're not so hungry. They'll leave some growth there on this grass, and there's still some growth on it. So, good sign. You guys have to play right here next to me, don't you? Hey, Jackie. Hey, Jackie. You can see how green it is over here and behind the dogs there. That's the burn unit. Awesome to see. Brixie some eggs. Always leave one. All right, so I've been working on this chicken pen. Um, we just needed something. We've had some raccoon problems and whatnot, but I needed something to be built. So 
what I did, I'll go through this with you real quick. What I did was is I built a uh, frame here to put a chicken door uh, where it will basically open in the morning, let them all out, and then it will close down on them at night. And uh, this is basically got a, a place that we're going to put them so they can roost at night and be safe because what they basically do is they will poop everywhere. They like to poop on my ATV and stuff. So we can kind of keep them all in here, keep them safe, make them roost here. Uh, let them lay their eggs in here as well. I still got to wrap it with uh, chicken wire. We've got lots of chicken wire to wrap all this around with. I'm going to put some more sheet metal around it to make it um, kind of a warm area or a, a place of coverage. We're going to put it inside the barn here so that they can have, uh, they'll have the cover of the barn and help keep them warm also. And we can, Brooks can collect her eggs and uh, the chickens can stay a little bit safer. Well, we got 16 bales of hay hauled over to Mom and Kevin's. The Dunbar herd got them taken care of. We got Big Joe taken care of, and that place looks awesome over there. Still green. The burn area is very green as well. Hey, 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 hey. Leave Hoss alone. Something else, we've talked about this a little bit, and I've mentioned it to you here and there, but pertains to this group so we've talked about bringing Dunbar over here and we've really contemplated on it talked to Marissa about what we're gonna do there um, about bringing him over and kind of resulted to I don't think thank you I don't think uh, what we're gonna be able to do is is I don't uh, we keep leaning towards putting Dunbar with this group why one this guy right here he is uh, almost two years old. He'll be two years, old, two years old this spring. This whole yearling group right here um, that we have. And so my point is, is that Dunbar is going to be five. So you've got a mature bull and then you've got a young bull like uh, Haas here. So my point is, I think if we put two mature bulls together, um, we may have some issues. But the fact that Dunbar is going to be five, Haas is a young strapping uh, bull here we can put them together and they can balance it out i think if you put two matures in we may have some issues and they, they could basically hurt each other so uh we're kind of leaning to the fact that we may put dunbar with hoss and, and this group um what about the cows and stuff too that is something that we're gonna have to there's not there's eight cows from at mom and kevin's and uh, four of those are from my original uh startup herd um, when we started in 2018 so we may divvy those up we may balance out uh, our groups of adults with big joe and and with this group here of these 21 females so there's two females in here that we raised that i brought over here and then there's 19 females you got nine heifers from south dakota and you got 10 heifers from canada and then you have my two that i raised that i brought over here so you have 21 females and then you've got hoss so um we've uh we still got some more thinking to do but that's something that we're leaning towards if there are some bison producers out there that have been in these situations before you guys please let us know what you think and your experience if you've had this before um but i think that's something kind of we're leaning towards and one of the reasons we're wanting to bring dunbar over here is there's just more uh grazing there's a little bit more ground here that doesn't mean we're gonna not raise any bison at mom and kevin's that will not change we're we're gonna keep some bison over there and 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 take care of them but um so still ongoing subject but i want to keep you guys updated on that on kind of what marissa and i are thinking and kevin as well on this so we may be uh doing some of that pretty soon hey guys thank you for watching uh our channel thank you for uh watching today hauling hay is sure is pretty right now here in southern oklahoma with the fall uh all the trees are changing colors and not so as beautiful scenery i was able to fly the drone hope you guys enjoyed it thank you guys for watching We'll see you soon.